All right. So you, you, you and me, you and me, you and me, we, we about to have a dialogue. We gotta, we gotta have a dialogue. So firstly, look at this. Look at this. This is prime time fighting game time at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the weekends. I'm gonna stop using that fucking ridiculous voice. It's stupid. This is what's available. This is what's available. Now you see right there in that little thing. That's a two bar connection. Half of my three bar connections have been unbearable and terrible and not wearable. Fucking master lyricist right here. Rhymes, got him. So I don't trust the two bar connection at all in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Mr. Draiku, whoever the fuck that is, I uh, joined his lobby and we were a three bar connection. And that was booty butt cheeks. So like I said, so far for me, three bar connections. Not like I have a huge sample size. I have like seven or eight. But out of those, let's say eight, four of them have sucked and been almost unplayable. One of them was playable but noticeably laggy. The other three were fine and everything was cool and everything was great. All the four bar connections I've had have been great. Um, But that being said, I don't know what it is with online. So... We me I mentioned before, uh, Miss Ethica has her little super thingy once we get to it. She has her level 3. So, um, to do her level 3, it's not like an actual special motion for it. You just do a level 1, chained into a second level 1, chained into her level 3. That's how it works. So, I don't know the timing for it, but, uh, I just mash it because that's all you have to do. All you have to do is mash. So, like we're doing that shit, I mash. Alright, cool. We're still going, we mash. I'm still going, I'm shaking the computer a little bit, and I apologize because my forearm is against the edge of the computer because that's how the webcam has to be set up, so it's actually accurately portraying me. And so, oh, look at that, you have that kind of little, like, oh shit, oh, wait, 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 wait. That blue little glow, ah, fuck it, whatever. Um, anyway, you saw me do that, right? Just did it on command. On command, y'all remember that shit? I think, actually, I think back then it was at command. Okay, alright, I fucked it up there because I wasn't paying attention. But like I said, see, see my inputs over there? I'm not doing anything. I ain't trying to time it. I am just mashing for my life. Uh, and it works every single time. 100% of the time, it works every time. This is no fucking Panther perfume or whatever the fuck it was called from Anchorman. It works every single time. It's like clockwork. You cannot... Clockwork doesn't fuck up. But when you expose it to exterior things... That can fuck it up. You throw it against a wall. The clock may start fucking up after that. It probably will. If not, completely fucked up. Uh, you set it out in the wilderness. Some chipmunk gonna come by and scratch that bitch up. It might cause it to malfunction. Exterior problems that are very realistic, people. Very. In this game, the exterior goddamn possibility is walking into the wide world, not wide world, the very, very tiny, limited, like, you can't even fill up a bar. You can't even reach the fire hazard level of, like, an average-sized bar with the amount of people that play this game. Um, when you walk out into that wide world, something goes wrong. I can't tell you what it is. I don't know. But for some reason, my ability to do this shit, once again, let me show you, this is all I am doing. This never changed. Oh my god, I fucked it up. That's the first time I've ever fucked it up. Oh, this ruins my entire argument! I gotta match harder! Gotta match better! Gotta match stronger! Harder! Faster! So I guess we're down to 99.9% .9 success rate. So be it. Online, I am at like less than 50%. I cannot tell you how many rounds I've I've wound up losing... Uh, because that shit doesn't come out. Now, obviously, that is not at fault for me losing. It's just, like, if it had all come out, I would have won the round. I still, you know, like, it's not like it's uns... Unless I continue mashing after, like, after this, and it's very clear that it hasn't come out. If I keep mashing and I do that, that's very unsafe. But it's very obvious when the next level doesn't come out, and I have plenty of time to be like, oh, okay, I better fucking stop mashing because it didn't come out, and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave and kill myself. You can take the round. That's happened seven times, at least. That's not a real number. I don't know how many times it has happened, but I have killed myself at least seven times. But I am so persistent. I am so stubborn 
that I have come back each and every goddamn time, fix the hole in my head, and come back here to try it again, only to fail it again, and lose another round, and take myself out back like the lame horse that I am, and shoot myself, and then be like, you know what, no, I'm gonna try it one more time, I, 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 I got this, I got this, I can try it one more time, and then it doesn't fucking happen one more time, and I just repeat the process over and over, bullets cost too much to continue doing this shit, Fuck! Damn it! You know what else sucks? Amazon. I'm calling them out right now. I have been a proud Amazon Prime customer since fucking ever. Ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Since I was in the womb, I have been an Amazon Prime subscriber. Even though Amazon didn't exist back then, I was still paying my money per year to be an Amazon Prime subscription person. Thing. Entity. And how do they repay me? Let me tell you. Estimated shipping date. Estimated? I gotta get my crazy eyes going on. Estimated shipping date. On the motherfucking TES Plus that I ordered from Amazon. In order to save myself some shipping prices. Motherfucking Thursday, February the 18th. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking Guaranteed release date shipping my asshole Amazon. Fuck you guys. Are you? I'm, I'm so mad. Like you have no idea how absolutely infuriated I am. So firstly, let me do a retroactive, fucking you know, throw this back. How long has it been? About two weeks. About two weeks. Big fuck you. Mark, man, God damn, it's not probably it's not his fault. I doubt it's his fault. But still, whoever made the decision to not sell Mad Cat sticks on these second, I'm sorry, I gotta get my crazy eyes going on. This, this is what deserves this rant. For whoever the fuck made the decision to not sell Mad Cat sticks on the Sunday, was it Sunday? I think it was like a what, Thursday, a Friday. Fuck it, on the second day of the Mad Cat's Cup. I went down there to get a goddamn stick. That is why I went there. Was to get a fucking stick. I didn't get no stick. I went home empty handed. With money in my pocket. That was supposed to go to her buying a stick. Ethica can't contain her energy because I'm so goddamn mad she gotta jump. Fuck. So anyway. That happened. And now this happens. So now I either just gotta. You know what else? Play single plus. Oh yeah. I'll just play single player Street Fighter for the first two days. Fuck online. I am not touching any more. Like, consider this a fucking rule. Consider this a fucking Nate Aristata unbreakable vow of celibacy. Hell no, I ain't gonna celibate. An unbreakable vow that's unbreakable. If it was a chain... The Hulk could not rip that shit in half. It's unbreakable. This vow is so serious that nobody's gonna give a fuck about it. Thus, it may as well be considered unbreakable because nobody's gonna fucking know if I break it or not. Fuck all y'all. But no, for, for realsies, I am never in the history of the world ever, ever, ever again. Sorry, crazy eyes. Never again! Am I playing a fucking thing? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm twitching a little bit. On this piece of shit, or any piece of shit like it, that may be defined under the moniker of PAD. I'm fucking done. That was me throwing it, but I didn't really throw it, because this shit costs money, yo. I ain't throwing this shit. Are you fucking crazy? I don't understand how people can throw controllers and shit. Like, that's ex some expensive shit. This thing, doesn't this thing like run $60 retail or some bullshit like that? It's not bullshit. Look at this, it's got this pretty little light. That's probably like $40 by itself. The rest of the controller don't give a fuck about it. But this pretty little light? It changes colors during some games. In fucking Rogue Legacy? The color of this shit? I didn't even hit a button. <laughs> Apparently I did. The color of this shit right here? That I'm not tilting far enough for you to see it. Depends upon the class you're playing. Do you know how godlike that is? 
That's fucking amazing. I am so goddamn stupid and easily distracted that I played Rogue Legacy on PS4 instead of PC for that reason alone. PC wasn't changing my fucking color of this shit. So fuck you, PC. PS4 Master Race. Your controllers don't change color, so fuck you. Even though there's like 5 billion LED computers that you can like program your keyboard to be whatever the fuck color in the entire color spectrum you want. But fuck you anyway! <sighs> Seriously, like, do you know how fucking mad- So, the reason why this happened is somebody said, like, Oh, yeah, there's a warning up on the official, like, the actual store page for the stick. Um, there's a warning up there that says, If you ordered after January 26th, demand is so high that you may not wind up getting a stick until April. Which is a, that's a fucking long way away. Like, I'll take February 18th over April. <laughs> Believe me, I'll do that. But, it's still just like, I wonder if everybody, I should ask that. I should, let me go, let me go. We're gonna head over to the absolutely toxic and incredibly, hey, look at that! <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, the very first, let me see if I can do this, actually, can I do this? Is this gonna work? This isn't gonna work, I don't have anything that, um... So, the reason why, like, it's freezing right there and then going back to something else, uh, I'm trying to, I have a setup. Can I change, actually, let me see, can I change the settings? Oh, I just, nope, 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 maybe. Maybe I can do this. Can I do this? Does this work? Can I edit this on the fly? I don't think that just worked. That did not just work. What if I, like, mix this? Oh, shit. What am I trying to do here? Um. Fuck. No, that's not... I don't care about that. Oh, you know what I need to do? Hang on, hang on. I think I know what I need to do. Um. Oh, yeah, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I need to add a window capture... Yes. Do not capture the mouse cursor because nobody likes mouse cursors running around their shit. There you go. The very first title. This has got to be the worst community. It's so perfect. This board is like one of the mo dumbest, one of the most toxic things I've ever seen. But let me see. No, anyone received their Mad Cat sticks from. GameStop, I'm gonna search for Amazon. Mm. Oh no, this isn't for the stick. This is for. So let me see. Uh, I am just going to create a new topic real quick. <sighs> like I'm a computer hacker. Oops, not or. Bitch, what the hell are you doing? Oh, similar topics already on this board. Fuck you. Ain't nothing similar to me. I'm unique. There. We're gonna post that message. And now we're gonna see who's gonna respond in a little bit. So what do we gotta talk about in the meantime? I am, actually, you know what, I'm sure, anytime there's words on anything, I am sure, like, everybody's curious, like, what the fuck does it say? This is a shirt that I cannot remember where the hell I got it from. Is this show? Is this show the entire thing? Are you seeing the entire fucking thing right there? It's like a, a mix-up between, uh, Carly Rae Jepsen and, uh, Halo. Like, I didn't actually buy this shirt. It says... Uh, sorry. Hey, just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my rocket, so die please, maybe. You know, like a play on the fucking Carly Rae Jepsen song. <laughs> um, this is like a bunch of websites now. I think Broken Tear does it. Um, though I think the website I got this from is called Shark Robot. Anyway, um, they have this thing, a bunch of websites have this thing where you can purchase like what they deem, what they call a mystery shirt. And basically what that is, is that it can be anything between a discontinued shirt that they just happen to have, uh, 
I don't want to say it's backstock, because backstock implies like it's actually... But just, you know, a shirt was discontinued, but they happen to have a certain amount of them still left in the warehouse or wherever. And so they need to get rid of them, so they sell them as mystery shirts. Uh, sometimes it's a printing error kind of a deal. So just, you know, various things. And so they usually don't cost very much. And like for this shirt right here, I wear the shirt I wear for work is black. But I don't like the way it feels against my skinsies. I'm very sensitive. So, um... I just, I, I just don't like the way it feels, it's kind of itchy, and so because of that, I like to wear shirts underneath it, and so since that is black, I wear a black shirt underneath, thus, I buy mystery shirts, because it, the majority of them that I've gotten are black, and if I don't happen to like it, like, I've gotten a couple that I actually really do like, and I'm like, oh shit, that's awesome, I'm glad I got that, um, but a bunch, most of the time, it's just something like, I have no idea what the hell it is, and... So I just, you know, I wear it as like an undershirt, a workout shirt, or whatever shirt. Like, it's just something that I don't really wear on a normal basis. But I wear it for, you know, just to mess around with when I don't care about what's going to happen to my shirt. Um, so I don't know why I just went off on that. I guess it was because it was something to talk about. Has somebody responded? Yes. No, no. Oh, you're, but you're from Canada. Psh, Canada. <laughs> Please. You're not a real country. You're like half France. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Canada's a wonderful place. The only problem I have with Canada, at least I think, like I, I could be entirely ignorant, but as far as I understand Canada, it is absurdly segmented. It's just like, you have somewhere like Vancouver, and then fucking some other place that's in Canada, because I know my geography. Because I listened to class. No, but seriously, like, isn't it just, like, you got these really focal, like, big city type places. And then just nothing. <laughs> and then, like, way the fuck further down, you got another main city. And then again, nothing. Isn't that how, it, like, I, I think that, I'm pretty sure that's what I've heard. Now, granted, I have never been to Canada myself. It's kind of funny, I've been to Europe, but I have not been to Canada, and I have not been to Mexico. Both of those are significantly closer to me than Europe, and neither one requires a plane trip. Were I so inclined to visit either, I would never go to Mexico. Like, don't get me wrong, Mexican food, Spanish food, whatever the hell you want to call it, that is my shit. There is no other food in the world, no other type of food that I'm just like, at any point in time, I'm like, yo, I'm down. Let's have it. Let's have some tacos. Let's have some enchilada. Let's have some arita. Let's have some Chipotle, because Chipotle is so Mexican food. <laughs> no, but seriously, there is like, I, I will always be down to eat Mexican food. There's nothing, there's many other types of food where I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'm not really in the mood. Never that way for Mexican food. I will always eat Mexican food. Were I surrounded on all sides by nothing but Mexican food, this face that you see right here, would take up the entirety of the webcam. I would be that much bigger because that Mexican food was so incredibly readily available. But around here, it's not really that to the case. Like most, we have, I have like one Mexican place that I can just run into, order, grab shit, and go. But uh, their food has declined quite a bit in the past. Like I started going there when they first opened up about, oh shit, they opened up like seven years ago. Because <laughs> they opened up when I was working at the grocery store that's across the street from them. And I used to go to them all the time on my lunch breaks. Uh, get food from them, etc., etc. Ever since, like, in the past year, their prices have been going up, but the quality of their ingredients has been going down. It's not my shit anymore. And so, now that that's basically like, oh no, nobody's replied again. Ever since, um, ever since that occurred, there's really no, I, like, I got Taco Bell. Fuck Taco Bell. <laughs> I don't, like, Taco Bell is not my jam. It's not, like, it's fast food. You get what you, fast food is there for one reason and one reason only if you are stoned as fuck that's it like when i was a kid i loved fast food fast food was my shit i couldn't get enough of it i always wanted to go to mcdonald's uh <laughs> why i do not have like five million cavities and fillings and just all kinds of fucked up teeth i will never know because every single time we used to go to the dentist, I would go to the dentist, you know, you'd get the whole teeth done, get the Novocaine, all that shit. Drive around the block. On the other side was a McDonald's. And I would always get fries and a shake. I never got a burger because I was never partial to McDonald's burgers. 
Uh, but I would always get fries and a large chocolate shake. After going to the dentist, I used that time well. For the 30 minutes it took for them, you know, basically they always say, you know, oh, you gotta wait 30 minutes before you eat or drink anything besides water uh, after Novocaine. Otherwise, something happens. I don't actually know what happens. Uh, but anyway, like, that's, that was just the dentist warning, you know, just don't eat anything for a while after Novocaine and you'll be good. So, we'd always wait for that long time and I would dig into the fries and the shake. Like I said, <laughs> use that time at the dentist wisely. So anyway, um, you know what I'm gonna do? Since I got stuff to talk about, I'm going to read the posts of This Has to Be the Worst Community. Narrated by Nate Aristotle. I'm going to try, I'm going to read them first and see if I can find, like, a voice suitable. <clears throat> this has to be the worst community I've come across. The console boards are pretty bad with the hardcore fans defending everything and anything. But they don't go as hard as I've seen people on this board. But this board really does mark the worst I've ever seen. The defenders of releasing a bare bones game, but it's all okay because we get stuff for free later. So if you don't like it, don't buy it. Are unbelievable and unbearable. I wish you guys would just go back to mommy. Playing SF Alpha 3. <clears throat> Smash boards will always be worse. Always. Guess you've never played an NRS game before. Someone's never played LOL. Yeah, Game of AQs does not at all represent the community. The single worst thing about the FGC is that people look at message boards like this and assume it represents the real FGC as a whole. You want to see the real community? Then go hit up a tournament. I don't get it. If you think there is a lack of content, don't buy it. Why try to discourage other people from getting it? J just don't buy it! LOL at this typical SF fanboy deflection. Why not challenge him on his claim instead of quickly falling back on the but NRS line that you lot are known for? The defenders are unbearable? LOL? No, the people creating new topics every five minutes whining about the same thing. That's unbearable. Cry more! But yeah, LOL and Smash and probably Sonic the Hedgehog for that matter are all more terrible communities. Oh, this is a long post. Or the people flipping out and just not waiting to when they feel the game. What the fuck? Or the people flipping out and not just waiting to when they feel the game. That is a terrible sentence, my dude. Dude, there are bad posters on both sides. At least I'm showing valid reasons why people don't understand in the business model and go crazy. Leak seriously. There is enough content in February that just seems like people are flipping out for no reason. I understand being disappointed. Is that? That is, that's incorrect spelling. Okay, that is incorrect. It, disappointed, but if you think about being angry for stuff you are re going to get anyway. I just suit don't see why you'd waste your energy instead of just waiting. It just suit seem leak more than two different perceiva on it. Like that is I have never seen a worse attempt to spell perspective than that. Damn my dude. Mine is Oh February! Stroy for everyone! Four levels of survival with upgrades and power-ups! Local verse Tryon! How would, I, how would I actually... They, it's supposed to be training, but it's the I and the A. Trianing? Fuck it. Trianing and online stuff. Plus an update before March! Well, I'll take that option. Isn't Ted of waiting all the way until damn June. Wanna play now? P.S. Every Owen is not a Capcom defender. That's childish labeling. I'm still pissed at MH not being on PS3 after them craftigan it there and dumping it. Them screwing Mega Man and ruining RE. I just am a bit patient and understanding when it comes to some things. I'm definitely not going to spit fire at everything and flip out before Breckkin down what I'm actually getting. 
everyone understands the business model. It's just an asinine business model. Uh, Smash Wii U board exists. Don't buy it. Pretty sure that's my line. Let's not forget the Final Fantasy boards. I find it to be a great business model. Much better than how SF4 was handled. It's perfect for fighting games, though. SF4 was fine. I paid $100 for vanilla to USF4 and I have everything they ever released for the game. I'm done. Like, I can't read this. I'm sorry. This dude's... One post was enough of this guy. It's the same dude that wrote that first essay with all the misspellings and all the terrible grammar and all that shit. It's another one. I cannot do another one. And now you pay $60 for everything included except certain types of costumes until they stop supporting the game. So your logic fails on this one. Okay, this is actually, like, legitimately terrible. So I'm just gonna stop here. It's just more of that. It's just more of that. Like, it really is just... The board in general, and nobody's responding to my shit, so I guess I'm the only person that ordered from Amazon, and the motherfuckers still can't get it to me on time. Well, fuck them! Anyway, um, like, the entire board, basically, is literally just like, oh, there's no offline versus CPU mode? Well, then just don't buy it. Who are you to tell me what I can and cannot like? Why was Armika censored still? Um... Just shit like that. It's <laughs> the internet is a sh is a shitty place in general. It's it's really terrible. I learned so so long ago that like it's just not it's not even worth trying to get into arguments with anybody because it's not. I mean, not trying to necessarily get into arguments. Sometimes getting into arguments is just fun, just to see what kind of shit somebody will say. Um, but like I have found that it is completely just pointless to try and reason with somebody because 99.9999 times infinity of the people that you meet on online are not posting things that are not factual that are either opinionated or just simply wrong they are not posting them because they want to hear you know opposite um opinions they want to hear different things about something they're not trying to Start a dialogue, I guess would be the proper thing to say. They are trying to find people. They're going to go, oh yeah, you tell them, bro, you so right. Yeah, you my boy. And that's it. Like, they're not, they're not trying to, they're never going to make an effort to see your side of the view. They are never going to make an effort uh, to attempt to, if, the, if they are incorrect, they will never perceive themselves in like even if it's a like I said if it's a factual thing if you if it's opinionated, pure and simple you cannot be correct or incorrect about an opinion by definition an opinion is your own personal feeling on the matter there are numerous possible opinions that anybody can have numerous feelings anybody can have thus an opinion is not factual but even when it's not opinion based like I mean you'll see some fucking incredibly just like biased or uh ignorant opinions floating around but even then there's still opinions you can't convince that person that their opinion is wrong that they are wrong for believing in it you just got to understand that person that believes that is a complete fucking jackass and is not worth listening to and thus fuck them i'm out um <laughs> so but then there are like so many people who you can prove them factually incorrect you have all of the sources at your fingertips, official sources that prove them completely and utterly wrong, and they will still say, oh, that shit's made up. Oh, that shit ain't real. Look at something like, I mean, I don't want to get try and get, you know, too political, too much worldview in here and shit, but look at the anti-vaccine people. There is nothing supporting their case. The only thing they had that supported them was a doctored report that was completely false and proven to be completely false and the person that did it has since lost their license and will never be able to be a doctor again they will never be hired to research anything ever again they were proven completely and utterly correct and that their report was completely and utterly false and yet look how many people out there in the world are anti-vaccine it is insane it is causing deaths if people are not even willing to admit they're wrong about that how the fuck are you going to tell somebody that Cammy having a thong leotard is uh, not purely sexual? That kind of thing. Like, I'm not even going to try to get into an argument one way or the other. 
I don't really care about the entire thing. I don't view Cammy as a... I mean, I don't view that as a sexual thing by itself. I do think it was kind of an intention to be... Uh, for her to stand... For a way for her to stand out. To have the costume be like that and show off the Botox. And it's just lasted because that's how she was originally designed. Now, if you want to get into the fact that that is somehow... Objectifying women... If it's a sexual thing that is completely unnecessary and it should be changed, blah, 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 you do you. I don't care about it. They can go uh, whatever way they want to, and I will not give a goddamn, goddamn, anyway, at all. I like playing Cammy because she's a fun character to play. Her costume is irrelevant to me. Now, let's say it was a completely factual basis that that is the best possible costume for her it perfectly fits her like you know the most common argument about why cami is dressed that way is it suits her fighting style it gives her the maximum flexibility with her legs and everything available you know that she does etc etc thus it is not a sexualization of the character it's purely uh for convenience now let's say that was the factual point of view you think you are going to get somebody on the other end of the spectrum who believes it is a complete objectification and demeaning to women and insulting and whatever other fucking words you can come up that are synonyms to that shit to that shit do you ever think that you're going to be able to convince somebody that believes in that so strongly when you have people that are literally killing other children out in the world because of their beliefs like come on that's such a significantly less degree of bad of course you're not going to be able to convince them otherwise. It's just not going to fucking happen. I'm terrible at thinking up proper examples. And I'm sorry for that because that whole Cammy thing was awful. And I freely admit that. That was fucking terrible every way around. But that's still, I'm still just kind of trying to say the point. You have something that is out there that is literally causing the resurgence of deadly diseases that were completely and utterly eliminated from the country. They were gone. Nobody was seeing measles, nobody was seeing mumps, that shit was gone. And now it is coming back and killing people. And people still won't admit that that motherfucker lied about everything and was completely wrong and there is no evidence to support that vaccines are causing autism or causing whatever the fuck is the uh, disease of the day that people shout to is, you know, the big problem in the world. It's ridiculous. How the fuck are you going to convince some random dude on the internet they're being stupid? Just like, ah, I don't know where that came from. I don't know why I did all of that. Let's see if there's been another post. There better have been. Fuck you, there hasn't been. But there's four goddamn pages of people bitching about the price of Mad Cat Sticks. Well, fuck you guys. I'll leave you to your bitching. I, don't, I guess I'll just never ask a question again. Fuck all y'all. And fuck this game's online. I don't know if I'm going to play it. Um, I may I just, like I said, I'm so... I did not play much of the Street Fighter V beta because of that. Because I was playing on pad and I just... I would sit down, I would play, I would last like 30 minutes, and then I'd just be like, okay, I can't, I hate pad, I hate it, I hate it, I can't stand it, I need to be done, I'm just done. As much as I wanted to play Street Fighter V, I did not want to play uh, on pad even more than that. So, not wanting to play on pad one out, I barely played the last beta. Um, I don't even know if there's been stress tests since then, I haven't been paying attention. Now I come over here and I try to learn and play this game, and I just cannot do anything nothing's working out correctly for me i'm doing everything wrong like half of the things that i try to do just do not translate to what is occurring and part of that i can blame on the net code part of that i can blame on the pad and obviously i'm not trying to say like oh well i'm not playing on pad i'd be perfect i mean i'm not trying to say you cannot do this shit on pad either i am saying me specifically this dude right here cannot execute on pad because i fucking hate pad and i refuse to grind out my because just think about it right i have played on pad for maybe a grand total of less than 24 hours. Nowhere near that amount have I actually actively... No, that's incorrect. Because I did play a fairly decent amount of uh, Carnal Phantasma Extend on pad. But even then, I never did anything that you know to grind out my execution, to master my execution. I never did any of that. So either way, I have put in so much less time learning fighting games on pad than I have ever put in on stick. So very obviously, I'm going to be significantly better on stick than I am on pad purely because of the time I have put in. If I could stomach sitting down and just playing fighting games practically non-stop for the next week, all of my executional issues on pad would go away. I would still hate it because like I've mentioned before, 
Pad? Hand. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of a perspective issue. Now it's properly... You see, though, like, my... Let me, start, let me try and fucking... Eh, you can't see me now. So, like, the bottom of my fingers are touching the pad right now. You cannot even get to the top of my... To the bottom of my thumb with how small the pad is in comparison to my hand. Oops. But so, yeah, it's just... It doesn't really... It does, I should have moved the pad back further. Who gives a shit? Point is made. My hands are big. Pad small. Nate Ogre. Sorry, I hate pad. Thus, fuck fighting games. And once again, fuck you, Amazon. Y'all motherfuckers need to get your shit together. And you need to deliver the sticks on time. If you know what's good for you. Nate out.